Doamna Curtin Darling, două minute și 30 de secunde. Thank you, President. EU citizenship is fundamental for millions of our citizens, a shared identity in addition to our national or regional identities, which unlocks the possibilities of exploring this great continent, allowing free movement and the opportunity to live, work or study in other EU countries. Political rights, as basic as the right to vote or stand as a candidate, sit at the very heart of our shared European values. Since the EU referendum, we Brits are perhaps more aware than most about the value of EU citizenship, since we fear we will lose it. However, while we might share equal treatment protections in the workplace or in access to university places, we don't have equal treatment on the most, in the most fundamental bedrock of our societies, the right to democratic participation. Citizens who have taken advantage of the freedom of movement from five member states, notably my own, often find themselves completely disenfranchised of national representation. They're unable to vote in national elections, both in their home country and their adopted country. I have sympathy for those who argue and the logic that citizens who live in another member state may not be affected by domestic laws or taxes made in their home country. But this complete lack of national voting rights for EU citizens who've moved using EU treaty rights is incompatible with our European values. Moreover, today, we have a further complication, complication. In fact, we have lots of complications in relation to Brexit. As we'll see, EU citizens, either UK nationals in the rest of the EU or EU citizens in the UK, disenfranchised on purpose. These EU citizens, whether Brits abroad for longer than 15 years or EU nationals from our sister countries in the UK are the most acutely affected by Brexit. And yet they had no say in 2016 and now their democratic rights are being disregarded again. There are no provisions in the draft, draft withdrawal agreement on voting rights, no guarantee of existing rights, no provision for future rights. This is a moral dereliction of duty. What are you doing in the Commission and the Council to avoid this intentional disenfranchisement? Personally, I support a people's vote and a final say for all. Domnul Marias, un minut și jumătat. Ευχαριστώ, κύριε Πρόεδρε. Η πρωτοβουλία που έλαβε η Επιτροπή Αναφορών να συζητήσουμε την στέρηση εκλογικών δικαιωμάτων σε επίπεδο Ευρωπαϊκής Ένωσης νομίζω ότι είναι πάρα πολύ σημαντική. Και πρωτοβουλίες τέτοιου είδους πρέπει να αναλαμβάνουμε συχνά καθώς θα προχωρούμε προς τις ευρωεκλογές.